I thought. Got all my Viking pieces parts cut out over here. Let's see. There they all are. Alright. So I thought we'd better go out, go over how to glue together the Viking ground before. And just so that you guys uh, can see how it's done. There they are. So, what you're going to want to do is find your most slanted sides and angle them towards each other, like that. Alright, so step one is gluing on, gluing the two halves together here so that it makes, makes one whole complete, well, double, double hexagon. And that, uh, yeah, that should be pretty easy to line them up. Along that line there in the middle. And you are done. Not too, not too hard at all. And then at this point, you're going to want to fold this over. Again, you can line up your corners so that it looks nice. You can do that. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to reinforce this edge. Again, we've done some reinforcements in the past, so not hard. Put on glue. Slap it on down. the crease and if there's any places that are coming up maybe you didn't put enough glue down like me put on some more glue all right so that uh, that's looking good let's go ahead and fold it back in half and we're gonna glue gonna put a lot of glue onto this piece a lot of glue but uh, we're going to want to spread very quickly. It's one of the reasons this one is a level 5. One is that it's big. Two, you've got to be pretty good at glue spreading by now, which you should be, to make sure you got good coverage. It goes all the way to the edge. No areas that are too sticky. And glue it on. You might have, like me, waited too long. Some of your glue's dry. Give it a fresh batch. Don't be afraid to get a fresh batch of glue on there and try again if you failed like a failure. Can be tricky for those of us that have done this lots of times, so don't give up. Give up just because it's hard. A lot of things are hard that are worth doing. Some things that are worth doing are really easy. But uh, many of them are hard. Alright, so let's go ahead and spread that on as best we can. Let's see if we got enough glue. And the first one really is the hard one for this piece because. this on the wrong side. 
I've mentioned several times that this is the wrong side to you guys. And I just spread it on. So this is a little experiment. Not experiment. But I'll show you that even though you spread it on the wrong side, if you're quick, if you're fast, you'll be okay. Give yourself a little space in between the two. Flop it over with the old Fallsbury flop. And I got it on there fast enough that no ill effects can be seen yet. Maybe there'll be some later. We'll find out. Looks like I could have done a little more gluing there. Okay, so we've got our Viking ground in place. And now it is time to take a look at the instructions. See what's up. Viking Village. So, we're also going to want to trim these edges. Trim them on up so they look nice and good. Trimming the edges, you know. Trimming the edges. All right, so that's uh, that's nice and trimmed up. Let's get to it. Throw away these extra stuff. Keep our table clean. We probably won't need scissors until we get to the string part. All right, so let's see what it says to do. Find the part. Labeled V1. Glue it down. So, let's see, that's not it. Here we go. V1. And that should match up with the ground texture perfectly there. So, we're making the first uh, Viking village hut. That's what it looks like we're doing first, according to the instructions. Possibly because that is one of the simpler places to start. Alright, so we glued that down. Then we glue down V2. 
two. Again, making sure that our ground textures line up. Now we need to find the porch and glue V3 and V11. So that will form the front porch of this little Viking hut area. This is where we need the string, which I left on the other table. Alright, so this says 5 inches of string. You can really use, let's see if it works with 5 inches. That's what I claimed would work. Let's see if that is a reality. Now we should have a series of really small pieces that would be almost impossible to find. This one. Uh, this one. So these little pieces are made for this. Let's see which ones we need. We're going to need V dash L3. Perfect. So we're going to take B-L3 and wrap this string around the middle. fold the tab in half, glue it together, then we're going to glue the folded up tab to the LVL3 spot under the roof. Okay? So that the string comes out of the corner like so. Alright. That is what we're going to do. Next. Uh, slot the hut side flaps, all right, and uh, I kind of like to use the one that doesn't have leaves on it for this one. There we are. But it doesn't really matter which hut side flaps you use where. Um, I like to pick one that has windows on one side and one that doesn't have windows for the other side, but again, entirely up to you. Which huts get which flaps? Alright. Then, we're going to glue V5 through V10 using these nice uh, thin pieces. So we should have thin pieces that have the sort of diamond, uh, diamond pattern on them. Just match those up with the Corresponding numbers. Let's see if I can find the other one. And then we got five, six, six seven. Of 
All right. Uh, then we're going to glue the 30 and 31. And those will be these end cap pieces. And uh, those kind of go all the way on. You know, I just kind of glue the whole thing on there, let it sit. Okay, so we've completed hut one. Now we basically do the exact same thing for hut two. And if your glue started to dry as you were gluing your stuff down, you now re-glue this edge. All right, hut number two. It's where we glue V12 and V13. And hut number two is pretty much exactly the same construction as hut number one. Exact same process of finding your texture on the on the ground to start out with. It's pretty important. Make sure everything folds down flat later on. And uh, then building building your porch. Oh yeah, thanks. I forgot some parts on the porch. We'll go back to that. Go back to V number one in a second. got over here was V35 and V36, which are these cool little uh, upper post things. Good oak. And this whole thing, at any time, you can test to make sure it folds flat. So I'm just going to go through and put everything on this one in whatever order I find it. Flaps. Nineteen through twenty. Other side. Side flap. V28. V28. 
All right, at this point, I also uh, slot this thing on, so I'll get my five inches of string. that dry. All right. So at this point, we're building the table. Sweet. All right. All right. VT1. Let's move some of these bigger pieces out of the way. VT1 start the Viking table. If you want to switch all of the VT1, all the VT parts, and just forget that there's anything inside of this building, you could do that. You'd be missing out on a lot of fun. So please don't. Then we slot the seating part on, but before we slot the seating part on, I probably want to go ahead and fold it. Alright. Basically, the seating structure looks a lot like a spider. And you want to slot that into this bad boy. Okay, so this is all folded up. This is all folded up. This Lots onto that. So let's take a look at where this is going to be glued down. This is V9, this is V10. That's how that's going to go. This is going to be glued down like this. Okay? So take a look first at where the, the sides are going to be glued down before you slot it together. Okay? So you see V3 is going to be on the same side as V10, as V4 and V5. So when you're slotting that together, Slot it together like that. Now this is going to be a tricky one to glue. Okay, to glue V2. Well, what you can actually do is take it off. You don't need to slot it together yet. Um, follow the instructions. <laughs> Doesn't say slot it together yet. Just says slot that on. Okay. Then, glue on V2. Now, V2 is not going to match up texture-wise. Just glue it on there so it's in the middle. And so that the bendy edges line up. Let that sit for a little bit because that's going to be a tough one to get off if it ever comes off. While it's sitting, you can start messing around with it now. Don't start messing around with it. Just leave it for now. Come back to it in a second. In the meantime, we want to make sure we find all of our chair backs. We should have six chair backs that are the same and two that are bigger. Okay? So right now I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty
smaller ones, two bigger ones, five smaller ones. I'm still missing one chair back. There it is. Got all my chair backs. Okay. And those are all labeled VC. They're all the same. Or well, they're all, you know, interchangeable, I guess. They're not the same, but they are interchangeable. So that's probably dry enough now that we can start slotting these little guys on there. What we're doing is we're slotting the parts labeled VT three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're slotting those through the slots that we've cut out here because in order for the chairs to work, we have to go through this other part. All right. So then we're free to glue down VT9 and VT10. And uh, in this case, you're probably asking, oh, will the floor textures line up? Maybe not. Maybe not perfectly. Just put them down there where the slots go, and, you know, what you can do is flatten the whole thing out. You can flat it out one way, then flatten it out the other direction, and just make sure that everyone's happy where they are, and that things are folding there, because there's nothing... Uh, there's nothing that needs to be not folded flat at this point, so. Then you're going to fold down all of the V3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and glue those down to the floor. Uh, depending on how you've aligned your table, they may not match up with the floor textures here. That's okay. That is okay. You will... You will survive. As long as you know how to love, I know you'll be alive. So, then we're gluing down uh, VC2 through VC1, 2, 3, and 4. It's going to uh, set up the big chairs onto the floor, the backs of the of the big chairs here, the end end seating. And if you're wondering, oh, will those match up perfectly with the floor textures? Probably not. No. <laughs> So uh, glue them down where the spots are, and if you wanted to match them perfectly with the floor textures, with the lines there, it may be possible, uh, but as long as both sides are at the same angle, they'll pop up fine, so. There we go, and that's our, uh, that's our table structure. So. Now's a good time to see if it pops up. Now's a good time to wait for the chair backs to dry. And then see if it pops up. While you're gluing on these other chair backs. Totally forgot about them. All six of them. So with them, you just want to dab a little glue on there. And stick them on. Don't apply undue pressure to them, and they should they 
should dry just great. Okay, there it is. Boom. The feast table. All right. Well, that's drying. Let's take a look at this piece here. This piece is meant to be glued to this piece. And so let's do it. We glue V38 to V38. As usual with these structures, the parts with the most kind of glue tabs are usually the parts that go on the outside. Uh, just because there will be more things glued to the outside of these structures than the inside. Usually the insides of these structures are pretty spare, other than this elaborate feast table. Thirty-seven glues to thirty-seven. Don't make the mistake of gluing forty-seven to the back, or you'll be confused about where forty-seven goes later. All right, let's let that dry for a second while we test our table, and we're watching it. We're making sure these are folding flat. They don't yet have the parts that are going to make them fold flat when they need to, so we kind of have to help them at this point. And boom, bada boom, the table works. So now the table's working, we don't have to worry about that anymore, ever again. We just go ahead and build the rest of the Viking Feast Hall around it. This is actually what Vikings used to do in the olden days. They would start with a table, and then they would build their entire village around it. And that's nowhere near true. It's not even close to true. So, imagine a world where someone in a YouTube video might make stuff up. It's a dark place. Who would want to live there? All right, so V39 goes on one side, V40 goes on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. Matching up the ground textures as we do so. Uh, these should match up really well. should match up perfectly. Like, if they're not matching up, you are doing something wrong. So make them match up. The lines should, every line should be, like, meeting up with another line. It should make sense that there's another line coming out of that spot. And if it doesn't, then you're, you're doing it wrong. You need to take a look at what you're doing and look and see if there's another place that could be a better fit, and if that place seems unreasonably far away, put it there anyway, because that's where it goes. It needs to go that far out in order to pull this whole structure up so that it actually works. I think that might actually work. Alright, next part is um, alright, Pull the string from hut 1. This is hut 2. And we're going to need EL1. That's going to need EL2. Alright, so we're pulling this string to here. 
we're measuring how far it is to there. So that this hood is standing up straight, and it's going to there. And that is where we're going to start wrapping our string around this bad boy. You can measure it again before you glue. Okay. Put a little glue in there. Wrap it around. Make sure the end is tucked in and it's got glue on it. And fold it flat. Hold it there. Squeeze out the excess glue. A couple seconds. And then you're going to glue VL2 to its corresponding spot right behind this pillar. Can you see where I'm gluing that? It goes right there on the side, snug up against the, the inside corner and that is where it shall stay forever we do the same thing on the other side with VL1 <laughs> um, yep VL1 actually used to be my brother's nickname in uh, college BYU That's not true. Just giving him a hard time. All right. So you've measured it to the right spot. You're folding the string over inside. You're holding the glue. You're measuring again while the glue is still a little bit wet. And then you're gluing the whole thing into that corner so that the string comes out just past the first nub with V22 on it. And uh, you're going to apply some pressure there, count to 20 or whatever you need to count to till, it, till the, your glue is dry. This is not a part. This is not a part that you want coming out. You can fix it if it does, but you don't want it to, you know. All right, uh, so that's in place. Next, you're gluing V44, 45, 48, and 47 in that order, okay? 43. No, 44. Let's see. There we go. So this, basically this piece here. And this piece here is going to be folded here, 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 and here. So that it attaches right onto the front like that. Okay? So, what did I say? 44, 45, 40, 8. And 47. So 44, you're going to match up with the ground texture. 45, you're going to glue onto the wall. Okay, the ground texture here will match up. So don't uh, don't go glue on it if it doesn't match. Match it up, glue it down. Make sure you're in the right place and go to town. A little uh, rhyme to help you remember what you're supposed to be doing. And the other side. 48 and 47. 48's on the ground. 47's on the wall. And this kind of creates the, uh, the facade of the Viking main hut. It gives a little extra texture. Makes it look awesome. You know, get him as close as you can into that corner. If your string holders are coming up, re-glue them. 
It should not be coming up. All right. Then you do the same thing with 42, 41, 46, and 43. Six is on the ground, 43 is on the wall. All right, at this point, you now are gluing the support struts into the center arches. That's these bad boys. And uh, what they do is they slot all the way through. So hopefully you cut all these slots out all the way through. They slot all the way through here. And they glue on the other side. Like so. And again, this adds another layer of awesomeness to the Viking Feast Hall. And it also makes sure that these arches stay in the right place when they pop up. So it serves a dual purpose of looking awesome and enhancing structural integrity. All right, so what you want to do when you put these on Okay. I'm going to put these here, but you want to look at where the triangles come through. And uh, I mean where the where the strings come through, and you're going to want to do a little slot. It's a little notch for the triangles. For the a little triangular notch so the string can come through there. So go up about uh, go up about halfway and leave a notch there so the string can pass through that area. See what I did? See the notch? I glue this on and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and uh, for the other side, you line it up, you look at where that string is going to come through, pretty much right to the edge of this uh, slot, and you cut a triangular notch to about the halfway point. And that allows it to uh, just sit a little more comfortably on there. So that is the Viking Village, and uh, it's pretty neat. 
pretty neat one because you can open the side flaps here, you can open these up, you can put little, put your figurines inside, you can put stuff on top, you can open up the top, and let's see if the whole thing folds flat. Does but we lost uh, <laughs> fold this side too soon, so we'll glue that back on. Just hold it on a little longer. Okay, so if you don't wait before you fold up your last parts, then your last parts may not be dry. Ideally, you could work on a couple of these at once so that you're putting on one or two parts letting it dry as you're working on the other ones, and uh, then folding after that. So so there we have it. This is, uh, this is looking good. Let's make sure it's on a flat surface. Sometimes... Balance the pole a little bit. All right, let's try it again. Boom, the Viking Village, ready to play. All right, so thanks for checking out the uh, the video. Thanks for checking out the tutorial, and have a great day.